My name is Javier Hall. I'm a red shirt freshman quarterback from Dallas Skyline High School in Dallas, Texas. One thing I learned from Trevor is that under pressure, when he's under pressure, when he's not under pressure, when it's normal, he stays the same. He stays he stays calm. You know, he's not a guy who gets rattled, I think. You know, I'm, the demeanor that I get from him, he's never rattled. You know, he always focused. He's a guy, he, he's always well prepared, and he knows what he's doing, you know. And plus, you know, he was a senior, he broke every record, almost every record, every passing record in UTEP, so, you know, that's a good thing. So I, I'm trying to follow in his footsteps. Growing up in Dallas, you know, it's a city, it's a fast city, it's a lot of things going on. You have to be, you know, well-rounded, you have to have good support. Which, you know, these are things I had, you know, I was raised by my grandmothers, you know, on my mother and father's side. But, you know, I, I spent a lot of time with my parents, you know, as I got older because, you know, I was, my parents were, were young when I was first born. So, you know, they were still growing up too. They had some growing to do. But when they grew up, I moved in with them in high school. You know, that went well. And now I'm here today and they still supportive. Coming from Dallas. And now coming to El Paso, it's kind of like a cultural shock. You know, it's like, it's totally different from Dallas. You know, it's green, it's, you know, it's humidity, trees everywhere. Well, you know, in El Paso, everything is dry, mountain. You know, it's it's not it's, it's not as many resources, but, you, but El Paso has a lot of resources, but not as many as Dallas. I learned that the whole city of El Paso, has some type of connection with UTEP sports, you know, whether it's basketball or football. Fans do know what's going on, and and, and that's great. I think as as being a college athlete, having fans that that are supportive, it helps. It really helps, you know. And we care about our fans a lot, you know, and we appreciate fans that come out. You know, the the days when we sign an autograph, or you know, when we have the game. Anything, you know, anything that involves fans like camps and anything, we we really appreciate that. Dallas Cowboys beat a lot, you know. During Sundays, you know, you watch the game, that kind of determines, you know, your week. If they win, you gonna you know you're gonna have a good week. If they lose, you know you're gonna have a bad week, plain and simple. My all time favorite cowboy is Terrell Lawrence. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> But nah, you know, as far as on the field, he's a big play guy. You know, I, I wish he could have stayed, you know, because he he's just one of those guys. He make big plays. He was very exciting to watch while he was here. You know, things didn't work out for the best, but you know, I wish him the best of luck. When I'm not playing football, I like to play basketball, you know, track. Or, you know, any any other sport that involves me competing with someone else, you know, it could be soccer. It could be anything. Playing the playing the video game. As long as I'm competing with someone, you know, I like doing that. My favorite movie is either Bad Boy or or Friday. Just because I like Mike Epps and Ice Cube, they're real funny. Martin Lawrence and and uh Will Smith are, are great comedians, you know, and I like to laugh. My favorite uh musician is uh you know, I'm 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 real versatile, you know, I like Rick Ross, I like Lil Webby, uh, I like Zero, you know, I'm real versatile. You know, I, I even like some some women artists, I even like Beyonce, you know, she kind of sexy, so, you know. <laughs> but, uh, favorite TV show is uh, Fresh Prince, you know, Morton, <laughs> you know, I, anything that's comical, I like to watch that.